everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, we're going to take a look at the new DC Collectible 7 inch scale Flash figure from their new Flash TV series line. Now, this figure comes packaged in the same kind of style of packaging, very similar to what we saw with their Arrow TV series line. Uh, really, the only main difference is, is you've got the Flash logo um, as opposed to the Arrow logo, and you've got white and red borders as opposed to white and green borders. Uh, the figure is still clearly displayed in the window box packaging. Uh, you've got the Flash logo in the background. Um, off to the side, you've got the name of the character, and it tells us that this is figure number one in the series. On the side of the packaging, we have a look at uh, Barry Allen from the TV series, and then on the back, um, we have the Flash logo, and then it also shows figures available in the Arrow TV line. So the first four single uh, package figures in the Arrow line, Oliver Queen, uh, Canary, Deathstroke, and the um, more modern uh, current season of Arrow. So all these figures, except for this Arrow figure, are out, and Arrow should be out next week on April 15th. And then we have the DC Comics logo, the CW logo, and it tells us the figure was sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. Okay, so let's get this figure open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging, and I think DC Collectibles has done a really good job with uh, this figure capturing the overall look of uh, the TV series uh, Flash. I think the face sculpt is actually pretty solid, even though you know most of his face is captured or is covered by the mask. You know, I think they still managed to capture the the look of the actor. Now, I will say that the skin tones on this figure are a little bit on the pale side, so a little maybe a little bit darker skin tone. But I still think for the actual sculpt, um, the face sculpt looks pretty good. Also, I think the, the chin guard or the part of the mask that covers his chin to me seems maybe a little bit off-centered. It's not anything major, but it just looks a little off-centered to me. But I do like like the lightning bolts on the ears, and those are actually sculpted, though they're actually um, little pieces of plastic. So be careful not to you know pull on those. You could, could snap those off, but they're pretty close to the head, so... I think that looks pretty good. I like the you know, symbol on his chest with the brighter red um, and then the metallic gold. And then I really like on the costume itself, you know, you know, this costume isn't as flashy as like the costumes you see the Flash wear in the comic book. It's that dark maroon kind of red. But I like how they've mixed in the wash works with the darker colors with the maroon to give it that kind of leather look. And then I like the texturing that they've done all throughout the the figure, um, you know, to capture again that kind of leather look like you see, you know, like the outfit actually looks like on the car or on the TV series. Even like on the hands and everything, um, they captured that kind of uh, texturing, sculpting on the figure. So I, I think it looks, you know, comes off looking really good. And he's got the metallic, uh, gold metallic uh, striping throughout the back and um, down the legs. And then even like on his boots, um, he's got the little gold metallic um, on his boots and stuff. So I like that. And then um, the bottom of his feet, not, not really a whole lot of detail. But And then on the hands themselves, again, the texturing as I mentioned. And then they even have like, you've got some dark gray, like for some like padding for his on his gloves. So... Uh, you know, just some nice attention to detail and everything with this figure. And so this figure includes uh, three pairs of interchangeable hands. So the pair of hands that come with the figure when you take it out of the packaging are closed fisted. So, you know, for fighting and such. But then they've also given him a pair of uh, completely open hands. And these are more for like, you know, for the running poses. So... I like that. And the, the hands are just on little uh, ball hinge joints, so they pull out really easy and they fit in the holes uh, nice and tight. And then the third pair of hands are semi-open. So this is like if you wanted to you know, grab something or hold something, um, the, that's what the, you would use these hands more for. Okay, so the figure stands at about six and three quarter inches tall. Um, the scale on this uh, figure seems to be pretty good to me. He's a little bit shorter than the Oliver Queen figure. 
um, that DC Collectibles did last year in that two pack with Deathstroke. And as I recall, I think Oliver is a little bit taller than the Flash. So I think that's pretty good. And then here he is next to the Canary figure. And he's maybe a hair taller than Canary, but for the most part they're about the same height. And then just for one more comparison, here he is next to uh, the DC Collectible 7-inch scale New 52 version of Flash. And, and he's shorter than, than that figure. Okay, so articulation on this figure is, is not too bad. Uh, definitely better than the New 52 version Flash uh, I just showed you a minute ago. Um, heads on a ball joint so he can look left and right with no problem. Um, he does not have a whole lot of up or down movement on this one. I would have liked to have maybe seen the up movement more with the head just for like running poses. Um, arms are attached to a tr standard ball hinge joint at the shoulder. So he's got good rotation there. Um, elbows, single hinged elbows. Not, not super great bending at the elbow um, basically with the way it's sculpted. He can bend it about that much. He does also have the swivel there at the elbow. The hands are on um, those uh, hinge joints, so he's got swivel at the wrists. Um, now with the way the sleeve is sculpted, it kind of comes up over the wrist. So even though the, all the hands do have hinges, it does kind of limit how much um, you can do the hands up and down, especially with like the closed fisted ones. I, but yeah, really kind of, you know, with the open hands, you can maybe get get it down more. Um, so he does have hinges there, but again, it's a little bit limited with how the sleeve comes down over the over the wrists. Um, he does have a midsection joint, so he's got rotation there. Not a whole lot of crunch. A little bit, you know, you can get it back a little bit and you can get him to do forward a little bit so that helps with the running poses there's no waist swivel on this one um, he's got the same kind of ball joints and same kind of construction like we see with the arrow figures so i don't i don't like you know the joints seem to be pretty sturdy but i don't like to really try and force to do like the splits on these um, so that's about as much as I, I, i'm willing to push push the legs out he does get the leg forward good um, and he can get the leg back good. He does have a thigh swivel. Um, he does have double jointed knees so he can get good bending at the knees. Um, he does have a swivel at the boot cuff and then he does have ankle pivot so nice move movement at the foot area. And then one peg hole on the bottom of his foot. So that's my review. Overall, I like this figure. I, I think the articulation is pretty decent. You can get him in some, some decent running poses, which um, up to this point, that's been kind of hard to do with the Flash figures from DC Collectibles. Um, so I, I do like that. I, I, I think the face sculpt is pretty good. I think they did a pretty good job of capturing the actor's likeness. The skin tone, again, is a little bit off to me. It's a little bit on the pale side, but not, nothing major. No other uh, paint blemishes or any paint errors. And I do like the overall detailing and sculpting on the costume and everything. Again, I think they did a good job of capturing the, the look and feel of how, how the Flash appears on the TV show. Um, also, I think the figure fits in scale-wise with like your Arrow figures. So, you know, definitely as you build up the TV universe world with with your action figures, I think this one will definitely uh, fit in nicely. So this figure is hitting comic and specialty shops now. So if you want to add it to your collection, start looking. Um, we have a full gallery of images of this figure over at toynewseye.com. There's a link in the description below. And as always, you know, we ask, you know, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.